Welcome to the Open House Podcast, where women talk real estate. I'm Christina Moderis. And I'm Steph Douglas. How's it going? Oh, good. Um, you're at the retreat house right now? Getting I'm at the retreat done. house. I, yeah, I've met a new pool company. It is like so refreshing when you have a service provider who is good rather than bad. We've just gone mm-hmm. through, like, there's just such a spectrum of mm-hmm. quality service. Yeah, we so we built a pool like a year and a half ago and um in our in this house that me and Steph bought with one other friend and the pool has been kind of a lot <laughs> but mainly because we didn't have a good company managing it right yeah like the the pool company we hired yeah and like it's an expense that we're happy to take on like it's worth it it's really mm-hmm. like made this a better place for people to come visit but like they book it because there's a pool and if the pool is not top tip top shape then they're gonna Mm -hmm. be mad and so it has been worth it but like we're just we're willing to pay even like a premium for quality service Um, and it's just a bummer that that's not everybody but I think that we have turned a corner with the pool hopefully and we are it's all blue sailing from here (laughs) (laughs) and we're gonna maybe put some turf in maybe yes. some shade and because that is the highlight of the property so I think if that's like perfect then people will like if there's other little things that aren't perfect in this house I think people will be forgiving yeah they'll overlook it which is yeah um really true it's like you want you come for the luxury of having something you don't have at your house and you also I mean you also don't want things to be like broken or like it's just it reminds you of responsibility and that you want to forget about that when you're on vacation exactly Um, which is why like staying in a hotel is so lovely everything Mm -hmm. is perfect and and I think it's why Airbnb has been having a hard time recently and like we've even stayed been staying in hotels more Mm -hmm. yeah I don't want to risk staying in a bad Airbnb because we have all stayed in one before and it's it's really yeah it's stressful and stressful (laughs) Um, (laughs) what is going on with you um what is going on with me nothing much i'm excited for the finishing of our office project <laughs> ah, yeah <laughs> really excited to for it to be done it's kind of and it's my birthday next week and i'm gonna go to florida and you're gonna see our florida house for the first time for the first time i'm so excited i know I'm i know it's that'll too. be really fun i'm excited to be out of this heat even though Mm -hmm. it's been a little bit more mild but Mm i i can't wait yeah it'll be fun each time Uh, um yeah and hopefully it'll be less crowded over there so okay so i guess before we jump into this episode um i want i have a little ask we have a little ask um if you've been listening to this podcast for a while we would love a review it only takes two seconds and it really really does help us um it it helps people find us helps people trust us so if you don't mind just hopping on just getting on there and just really quickly leaving us a review we would really appreciate it yes on google right oh no no, um, sorry. I was going to say the podcast review. I mean, oh. sure, give us a Google review, but like also the podcast review. But yes, podcast review. Yes. <laughs> Reviews wherever help you so listen. Much. Yeah, yeah. Wherever you're like- listening to this podcast, if you would just jump on and leave us leave the podcast a review. Okay, uh, yes, that would be we on very the same page. Yeah, <laughs> yes. We, it's like such a small amount of time, and it really makes an impact. And. And we, the reason I have reviews on the brain for Google is because we're also like really trying to collect people's um, like thoughts about our company and like have them mm-hmm. be public so that people can find us better. And and like when people are researching who they can use for their filter team, it's good to, to read like a lot, like a robust amount of, of reviews. So same for the podcast. We love to mm-hmm. um, be findable and like and get more people on board. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think, um, yeah, that's fair. We are having a little competition with our agents right now for the Google review, so I get why that was probably top of mind. Um, me and Steph, I feel like, are competitive, and we were like, They'll, they're going to jump on this competition, and then, like, they haven't. We're like, okay, 
I'm about to win this competition. I know. We should. We should get on there and just be like, okay, let's show them how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. I'm like, guys, what? You you don't want to like be the winner? You don't want to win a gift card? They even get money. Like it's not a I know. small amount. But like I know. neither shocking. of us need money. We just want to <laughs> You just wanted to win. <laughs> um, oh my gosh! Uh, of, we've been uh-huh. really playing pickleball a lot. Mm-hmm. It's oh been yeah, so fun. <laughs> it has been fun. Just like I think two days ago, we just like hop, like just did a quick like hour and a half. Um, what yes. I was gonna say session, but <laughs> it sounds a little funny. pickle sesh. Yeah, pickle <laughs> sesh. But there are these two guys that come every day. Yes, it's and so they come crazy. for like at, like. At an hour or less they ride their yeah. bikes there i think they meet there i don't think they ride their bikes together i think that they live in separate places they yeah. meet there on their bikes they play for 45 minutes to an hour and then they leave and it's like yeah magical yeah it's very cute I know. um oh you want to do your hot tip for uh around austin if you want something done yes <laughs> with the light yes 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 um we you're talking about um with the lighting at the at the court it is the most amazing thing. It's called ATX three one one, or the like. The app is called ATX three one one. They are they're on Instagram too. I tagged them in my story recently, but I have the app, and it does like make you feel like you're, you know, being a Karen a little bit. But like it, you could do anything. Like if there's a sign that's broken, or if there's a sidewalk that's dangerous, or you know anything. So there's a light at the courts that we play at and sometimes we play at night and the lights come on which is amazing what a service that the city's provided us and one of the lights is turned like 45 degrees away from the court and so it makes the court really dark <laughs> and so i submitted a help ticket to the city like the 311 and the next day we were playing there and the people came out and they checked it out they like took pictures they they're like on it and the tickets open and then they're going to let me know when it's when it's fixed it's awesome. I know. I'm like, what else needs to be? I know. I mean, care? obviously, they're waiting for these tickets to roll in. If it's like the, the day after, like it was the afternoon and the morning that they were there. So mm-hmm. I'm. Can they come back and tighten the nets? Maybe. I, see, I, I mean, I'll take a picture of it next time I'm there. Just like <laughs> they, they're waiting to help us. They just need people it's to awesome. tell them. So and there's it. like. I, there's been times I've used the reason I downloaded it is because we have a house on like me and Christina and a couple of our agents and um, employee we have a house on with an alley and the alley was blocked by like a bunch of brush like you couldn't drive through it and so I submitted mm-hmm. a help ticket for that and they came and they cleared it because yeah. it's like right of way it's like a street so mm-hmm. yeah if, if you have any issues like that there's a place to solve them um, yeah our office is is coming along we definitely yeah. thought it would be done by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting into it. This whole episode is about, I guess, updates, like office update, when our reveal party is. But yeah, what? Uh, how do you think it's been going so far? I mean, it looks really, really good. Like, so yes. good. It's going to be incredible when everything's styled, when everything, all the furniture is set out. There's tons of built-ins. Like, it will be really, really cool. And that is what we paid for and that is was the ultimate goal so the ultimate yes. goal will be achieved yes the execution has been like a little tumultuous yes but that's like we've been we've done renovations like yeah I, yeah it's it's tricky because like yeah we're working with um a designer and her team danny cleric and um We originally decided to work with her because, you know, she's young in her field and she seems like a go-getter and it was really exciting um, to work with someone like that. Uh, I feel like she's had a lot of success. Uh, So it's nice to be supportive of that. Um, And she has like a good following. So we were like, maybe that'll help, you know, our business as well. Um, So we reached out and we, it, it was like very, you know, in the beginning, like, very clear um now looking back maybe we could have been we could have asked even more questions i think we were just like a little too trusting of the process (laughs) totally (laughs) and like we yeah we definitely trusted that they had done this before and that they had you know and there were questions asked and then they were like very simply answered and like with a broad stroke of like yeah there won't be very much asked of you at all Mm -hmm. and (laughs) That has just not been true. Like we've done a no. lot. We've managed the project. Eric 
Shout yeah. out to Eric. Eric, my boyfriend has, Eric is doing it. Is like, literally, he's doing this whole office. Like, I don't. Yes. They yes. they did post a video and they're like, we're doing all this stuff, and I'm like, I mean, you told us what to do, but like, you're yeah. not doing it. Right. And and like their designer. I mean, whatever. She she calls herself a decorator, um, which I think there is a delineation. I think designers have a. Uh, um, what is it called like a certification or like they go to design school is that right yes yeah 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 Mm -hmm. um and so she's she like very clearly like calls herself a decorator which is Mm -hmm. like implies action right she's not just designing she's also like implementing um Mm -hmm. but definitely has been like we want this here eric can you just like do it we're like there there's a lot more that goes into it than just like like asking one off you know i think it's because we've done so many renovation projects that we know the inner workings of a house like we know that like if you want to move a light switch or add light switches like there's more to it than just like it's just like a hour job it, it you have to like look into things and know the luck yeah it's it's a lot so like you know i think those are the kind of things that we didn't realize um were gonna happen and then giving a budget i think there was some miscommunication with that as well uh, cause we are like what over 50% over, yeah, or 50%, 50% over, over, over budget. budget. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. At least. And there was like, yeah, not, not fully, um, not, we we're not just not fully clear on like what the amount of money we spent or sent to them was for versus what we were paying for on our end, as far as like prepping the space and like making sure it was ready for them. It, it was yeah definitely like everything every every time I look back on anything like we always learn something and like this is the learning that we just have to like really really make it clear and it's similar with partnerships like which we talk about all the time it's like you have to have all in writing so that no one is feeling sad or mad or (laughs) resentful exactly and I think what we could have done a better job at um, is not making too many assumptions I think we like were a little too trusting and excited about the process without which is fine like trust but like verify <laughs> and when, um, yeah and when at the beginning this when we were just like oh my god that was so easy amazing mm-hmm. it's gonna be done in three weeks wow flag. like of course <laughs> what the hell are we th- like yes like i remember just being like this is amazing they're gonna come here they're gonna knock it out and it's gonna be done by, yeah. by august 7th and like obviously that's not that's not how things work <laughs> Yeah. So when any, I mean, even look at us, like we've been doing this for forever. (laughs) Uh, And, you know, if something seems too good to be true, you need to be asking way more questions and like, we're still making mistakes. So like we take ownership of like, we should have verified a lot more things like when giving a budget, tell us exactly what this budget is for. Yes. Um, I also think on their end, like, I don't know who the project manager is. It's like, needing some more project management skills so like you know we we had we were like you know we're we've been in your shoes where you're working in your business and you're working on your business and it's really hard to get systems down but it is really important it's so important and like we had to learn that going through our business too and like learning that kind of the hard way as well and making all these mistakes and kind of disappointing ourselves and others until we finally had to be like okay this needs to be we need to slow down concentrate on this focus focus and like really we're proud of how far we've come in that realm and like we everything is just so um high functioning in our business now and so it's hard to it's hard to see (laughs) when when our standards are higher right now for like systems operating like yeah systems oriented businesses we like working with system oriented businesses yeah but i i like what you said um about taking responsibility like of yes like that this is our responsibility that we, we we're not ones to blame anyone else like we should have clarified and that is on us so i think overall it's going to be very good we're going to be very happy yeah. that we did this um but yeah it's just been like a it's a been a <laughs> like stressful yeah stressful mm-hmm. i have a little twitch in my eye and that's, <laughs> that's not just from this but <laughs> um but but yeah so when yeah. it's done, I'm just so looking forward to it. It's going to be so beautiful and just so, so needed for our community, not just our our community at large, y'all who are listening, but like our team, like our team really, really thrives when we're able to go somewhere all together. 
Yeah, I know. We we um I wanted to wait until it was all done to show them, but I think it was good to kind of give them just a little sneak peek of it. So we did walk them through the office this week and yeah, it was exciting cuz it is it's coming together. I think we the twitch in the eye could be coming from also like we have a launch party coming, a reveal party to show everyone this office. And it's <laughs> it's so soon. And they were like, we'll be done a few days before your launch party. That and we were like, quote, unquote, we'll be done like, a few <laughs> days before your launch party. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> I was like, ladies, no, because whenever that is, whenever that happens, there's so much to be done right after a project. And like all the little details of a project are take up like the most time. And it's yes. so, so I was like, yeah. I think, and I don't think they're, I think they're still doing it. Like we really pushed them to not do that. Like we were like, please, please. please yeah. Can you come earlier? Some and stern, yeah. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That is so true. Like when, when there's so much, and, and I also have like other projects that are going way too long and we, you know, like things are just taking a long time right now. And I think that that is the nature of this job. We've chosen these problems. Like mm-hmm. this is what it is, but yeah, the, the September 21st, uh, reveal party like we were like that that is we're giving ourselves ample time like it was yeah. like we were like I was like whoa well, we could do this earlier but I guess you know because <laughs> this started in June right yes it was supposed to be done by the end of July yeah yeah um so um, here we are we live and learn yeah live tomorrow, and tomorrow learn, September so. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. been a wild summer <laughs> mm. I know I tried to plan it so perfectly where I would be here when they were here when they were here, when the designers were here, and every single time I go out of town, they come into town. It's I'm like, so funny. What is like, happening? W- like <laughs> clockwork. I'll, you should just go out of town right now. <laughs> Maybe they'll come back. It's so funny, and like, it's not a play. Like for people who are listening outside of Austin, it is not fun to be here. Like we do no. understand that, <laughs> which is why we want to get out of here too. Like, we've been like here for them. <laughs> I had plans this summer to not be here at all it's just one more year but oh, next God. year the whole summer um I'm but not, it, yeah. it is really funny and then like they're from miami and they're coming to austin and miami is definitely humid but like it's nothing compared to the heat that we've been experiencing like 107 every day and the ac so, at our office yeah. has been it's it's not been working well it's yeah so they have some <laughs> yes they have some gripes as well i'm sure oh oh for sure for sure um but yeah i think like on our end we kind of knew what we were signing we should have known what we were signing up for yeah on their end uh project managing a little bit like a little bit of like systems based like just like not send you know they sent all the furniture to the office when it was a construction zone so that was like things like that that like we had to kind of deal with and they because they weren't here so yeah. I think it was just um, a lot more than we thought it was going to be cost wise and our time. But totally. overall, like we do think we're so excited for the space. Our events are going to be so fun. Yes. And we are like this is very this is very um, parallel to the first office that we did because <laughs> uh, yes. Steph and I, when we started our company together, it all started with this building that we purchased it was like under three hundred thousand yeah. dollars and it was a commercial space in east austin that we renovated together it's going to be our office community event center and that's what it became but it was like we were renovating it all the the until like <laughs> three days before our our launch party our, our yes. official like company launch party that we hosted there and it was such a fun party we had so many people come but i think it's a little triggering to be like oh my god we're doing this again yes we have yeah you know almost 300 people rsvp'd for this five years later (laughs) still doing this yeah yeah it's the same and it's good to think about that because it was so good like it turned out so well it was so So fun this will be like that but it definitely it's not without it yeah yeah, eye twitches that's no reality yeah so. yeah come and okay so our reveal party is going to be september 21st and we already like it's i'm so excited i went there with uh to the office with gracie just to do a little site visit and like plan out where all the vendors are going um we're gonna have 
free drinks. We have, uh, I think, Tito's, uh, Desert Doors sponsoring, and Shirley Wine, which my friend works at this company. It's a non-alcoholic wine company. So we'll have, like, some sparkly rosés and stuff for anyone who's, like, not a big drinker. Um, and cilantro, free cilantro. Um, Nancy, your friend Nancy, yes. is going to DJ. She's so fun. Yeah, it's the best um, DJ I know. <laughs> um and we are working on a band we'll tbd on that um and we're gonna have tiny tails which we had tiny tails it's a petting zoo I, it sounds best. silly but it's so cute <sighs> it's so cute it was like the highlight of the party last year people it were really like will. holding hedgehogs and lizards and it's you so mean cute. four years ago oh my god did i say last year <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> in 2018 2019 2019 2019 yeah yeah yeah. june of 2019 yeah Yeah. we were company for for (laughs) eight months before the pandemic (laughs) so sad that was we love that space but anyway that was our first party um and we're bringing back tiny tales i how do i say this dolce dolce oh dolce bacchio i think dolce bacchio the gelato truck there's such there this sweetest italian couple yes. that eric and i met um years ago and they were at our first launch party and we're gonna have them back for this um office reveal party um you want to list some of these vendors we have yes we have clue vintage I, and i believe clue vintage was at our um holiday party if you came to uh-huh. that redeemer cbd um we have all tomorrow's parties vintage so we have two vintage shops which is so fun mm-hmm. um howdy ceramics Plum Shop, it's just a candle shop. Um, we have Kathy Fan Watercolors, which is so cute. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then AV Beeman Embroidery. Um, but yeah, so we're really excited about this. You can walk through the whole office and kind of like, because I know we've been posting all about this on TikTok, so you can kind of like see all the before pictures yeah. and the videos um, of what the office looked like before. Because we did a lot in there. Like, yes. we kind of gutted it in some ways like we took down three little half walls yeah um painted floors like redid the bathroom luckily the bones are so beautiful i mean it's just like a historic 1912 home with these like amazing windows but like it was it was rough in there i mean the flooring was like not well done it and it was ugly (laughs) Mm -hmm. um and it was it, it, it had been a um like a beauty salon type thing yeah. in there before and and like did, yeah it just didn't need to be what what we needed it to be so i'm excited to see the the i mean before and after they're always just so fun but this one's oh, going to yeah. be specifically good and there are four layers of tile in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> like they just kept putting layer after layer of tile so when they so like those are things that happen like when we redid the bathroom Hold on. It was like an actual, a, bi- a way bigger project, more expensive than we thought. And for commercial, so we're leasing this property, which oof, always stings. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> but so, it, you know, usually when you are leasing a commercial property, they'll give you a budget to renovate. And we tried to work with them on that and they really pushed back and it was kind of crazy like working some of these smaller commercial like looking at smaller commercial leases because like yeah. it, it was like a slow process and we're kind of like let's go 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 like we're we're fast we're ready to people. go yeah um, and instead they gave us they did like they did bend a little and so we have six months of um free rent or like yes. delayed rent so that we can um do the work and that money will go into you know the renovation exactly so that's that's what we negotiated just to like move forward um but that was more cash out of our pocket yeah and it is kind of like we're, we're investing in something that um i guess kind of goes against some of our our values a little bit of like usually we are investing into a property that like we will eventually sell but right. this is we are investing in our business so we were like this is different than property this is a this we're not buying a property we're like buying a piece of like of some a value for our our business that's going to be so good for us so yeah it was a little mindset mindset shift we had to have 
Yes. And this is like not uncommon for businesses to be renting somewhere no. and then and, and build it out completely. Like that's most businesses that you go into. And so like we just had to remind ourselves like, yeah, every restaurant that we go into, most of those restaurants don't own the building. They had to make it that beautiful on their own and like know that they're just going to, it's a business expense. And we've never done that before. We've yeah, always... No tried to buy our offices yeah yeah but it's we, so expensive we, yes we and we bought the last two and and yeah we're, we're like a very bootstrapped business mm-hmm. um which is why I like the word of mouth like we're basically a word of mouth we're not like buying you know tons of ads to push mm-hmm. like we're we're a very very local community-based company and so like all of this like you're you listening to this is helping us um mm-hmm. but it, it is really it's is. been like a lot of growing pains and like figuring this out as business owners. Yeah, helping us and I'm hoping we're helping you a lot and Yes. Um I hope we see you on the 21st. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so excited. Come up and pet a pet a hedgehog and say hi yes. to us. <laughs> and and walk through the lovely home that I know is going to be beautiful. Um the vibe apparently is eclectic Mediterranean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see yes. if that's what it's going to be when when it turns out. Well, yeah. turns out, but. I mean, if anything, like it is so beautiful. It's not everyone's, it's not going to be everyone's taste, but it is very, um, like unique and kind of like surreal. Like we're, yeah. like we're the squiggle, the squiggle wall and the built-ins and the colors, like it's amazing. I mean, it's like, I just would never be, I would never choose yeah. these things and like all together it's like really turning out. And that's exactly why we hired Danny. We really yeah. like believe in her and trust her like her taste and I think she's done some great stuff and I think it's going to turn out beautifully. Huh. So I am so excited for you all to see it. Um, yes. Come grab some food and drinks on us and, you know, tour the office. Yeah. And the link will be in everywhere, but. Oh yes. Just- I will say if you do plan to come, you do need to RSVP or else you're going to hold up uh, you're going to be held up at check-in because, um, <laughs> like, you're going to have to do it. There's going to be a little QR code that you can wait in line to do it then. Um, and if you RSVP, RSVP for someone else, um, it has to be under their name and email um, because the person at the door is going to, like, ask you for your name. And if it's not on the list, then they're going to have you fill out that link. So yeah. just know that going in. Don't want anyone to be cranky at the door but <laughs> yes that's exactly <laughs> please do though and yeah I think we've just had such successful parties before and I always get I'm stressed about them and then afterwards it's like oh my god that was the best ever um mm-hmm. so so yeah come out it's a Thursday <laughs> yeah it's a Thursday 6 to 10 p.m so excited I've been it's been Gracie Holly and I really working hard on this yes. and um it's gonna be so much fun so Yay. excited to see you all soon <laughs> all right okay are you good that's it Yay. yeah all right bye see y'all soon